All right, let's talk to Eric about the weather and um, mild right now, only going to get better. Yeah, you know, Eric, this is a classic New England week, right? Where we just have these wild swings in temperature. Yeah, a little bit of everything on the table this week. Of course, we had our snow Saturday night. A lot of that's gone. It'll all be gone by tomorrow. It'll feel like spring, and then it's going to feel like summer, and then it's going to snow again. So there you go. That's late February into early March for you in New England. This month hasn't been very hard to take. So far, running above average. And, well, temperatures this evening, not too bad either. You can tell there's a little more snow on the ground. 39 in Orange, 40 in Worcester, but 49 in Lawrence, 48 in Norwood right now. We're watching high pressure depart. This storm system pushing off to the north and east, and it's going to drag this slug of record warmth all across the eastern U.S. over the next couple of days. Also bringing with it some rainfall. We'll see areas of mainly light rain throughout the overnight on and off. A cloud cover, very damp, kind of spring like evening, at least early spring. Temperatures will stay in the 40s for the most part. We'll also see some fog filling in with a southwesterly breeze. So here you see the bands of rain moving through, still a lingering shower, too, some fog and some clouds early tomorrow morning. And then we'll see the sun try to fight through. The biggest question is how much sun will be able to break through the clouds. The well, best chance is away from the south coast. So as in the, as we're in the Boston area, central Massachusetts, into southern New Hampshire, this is where we should see a sliver of sunshine break out your mildest temperature. The southwest wind off the chilly water will keep clouds generally socked in along the south coast, Buzzards Bay, Cape Cod, and the islands. And we'll see those low clouds filling in for everyone again tomorrow night. So we start the day in the 40s, quickly climb up into the 50s, some towns getting into the 60s tomorrow afternoon. There you see the best chance of sunshine brings your best chance of 60s. North and west of Boston, a little chillier, 50s toward the south coast, although still much milder than average for this time of the year. And I think we could see some sneaky onshore flow down the main coast, the sea coast, and maybe all the way down to Cape Ann. So we'll keep the temperatures a little cooler in those spots. Then on Wednesday, we're fully into that extremely mild air. And our best chance of 70s will be toward the Merrimack Valley as well as the Connecticut River Valley. Again, the farther away from southeastern Massachusetts you go. This is where we have the best chance of sunshine. This is where we have the clouds generally dominating a lot of the day around the south coast and the Cape. You still get into the 50s, just not the big warmth. We have a chance of hitting 70 in Boston. It's only happened twice. Twice on record since 1872 in Boston. Last year was one of them. We've got another chance. It's the same week, as a matter of fact, as last year. And I think all the southern New England climate sites, the major cities, they will all easily set record highs for the date on Wednesday. As for the snowfall, well, we lost a lot of it today. The rest of it goes tomorrow. And then much of southern New England is snow and ice free by Wednesday. Then down comes a cool front, brings back the chillier air, even a chance of some rain and wet snow as we head into Thursday. So it'll be back to reality and a really active stretch. More rain and wet snow mix on Friday nights, another chance for some rain on Saturday and some more rain and maybe some ice across the interior on Sunday. David and Lisa, busy time.